Welcome to Onyx Graphics. My name is Don Carey and I'm a senior software engineer. Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the Sumo Roll Cutters with the Onyx Print and Cut workflow. Let's get right into the software. Let's begin by configuring our cut marks in the Onyx 11 Cutter Manager. As you can see, there are four different Sumo Cutter families listed. The options for these last three are identical. The Sumo F, being a flatbed cutter, has different marks and therefore different options. Let's take a look at the Suma S class. The first option is the barcode. The Suma barcode is the PostNet barcode used with the Suma barcode server for automated cuts. This barcode also includes the XY line. You can select the standard Onyx barcode for using a barcode reader with the cut server, or you can choose not to print any barcode, saving a little ink in the process. The X margins are in the scan direction. Y margins are in the feed direction. The mark margin is from the edge of the media to the edge of the mark. The image margin is measured from the edge of the media to the image. Intermediate marks are used to increase accuracy on long jobs. Here you can turn the marks off and on and set the distance between. Default is 19.69 inches or 500 millimeters. Now that we've configured the marks, let's tell the RIP what cutter we're going to use by creating our quick set. Quick sets provide a great way to manage your workflow and we're going to create a quick set associated with our Suma S class. We'll keep the default cut contour prefix for our cut path and for these jobs we'll leave tiled outline and PDF trim box turned off. While quick sets are especially handy for automating workflows, these same options, cutter selection, cut path prefix, and trim boxes are also available in the job editor and the job options dialog. Now let's open an image that's been prepared with both a kiss cut layer and a flex cut layer, which is very typical for an adhesive sticker application. While the job is printing, let's look at the options we have in cut server. If you've done any cutting with Onyx and Suma in the past, the first thing you'll probably notice in Onyx 11 cut server is that there are now only a handful of Suma devices rather than a long and confusing list of individuals. Our Suma is an S class D, so we'll select that one. Now let's look at the options that we have. First are the port options. Since we're cutting directly, we can use either TCP IP or Suma USB. For this example, we'll select Suma USB. Suma has a particular way they do USB, so we'll want to make sure our selection is the same as the one configured on the cutter. Now let's look at the other settings available. Suma cutters have both job and layer settings. Job settings are set once per job, such as the Opus Mark Reading Strategy. The settings for Suma Flex Cut are also set once. You have the option of using the settings on the device or overriding these values on the device here through the driver. A word of caution, when you change these values, they will change on the device for all future jobs until those values are changed. You can set up multiple different job options. Maybe you have a thin vinyl and a thicker vinyl that you work with. You could set up two different job options with flex cut setting values to match. Layer settings are also set here. This is where you set the value for speed, pressure, and tool. This is also where you turn on the flex cut option. In the job options, we only set the flex cut values. This is where we will actually tell the cutter to use those values to do a flex cut. If you know the names of the spot colors used to create the cut paths in the original document, you can name your layer settings exactly the same. This way, cut server will automatically match the layer settings with the actual layer. But if not, it's a simple process to select the settings for each layer. You can set the order you want your layers to be cut in, but be aware that flex cut will always be cut last. Now that the options and layers are configured, we are ready to cut the job. <music> 